How dare you silence me? Let's talk about the lie of tone policing. What is tone policing? Tone policing is when you take someone's way of delivering an argument, usually their manner, and you use it against them. It's obviously a logical fallacy to use the method of delivery against someone in an argument. But that's the problem. Tone policing, when you see the phrase tone policing, it's not usually used as some sort of call out for a logical fallacy. Typically, when you see tone policing, it's used in the context of some kind of identity politics adherent, social justice warriors, angry internet feminists, pissed off Tumblr users, high schoolers desperate to be unique and not silenced by other people, the type of people that can't be grown adults, can't behave maturely, can't have a conversation that they do not dominate through force. And this is why tone policing is a lie. See, when you talk to someone and they're assholes to you back, no, it doesn't change the fact that what they're saying may be true or false when they're total dicks. But when someone's a dick to you, they are not entitled to you listening. They are not entitled to other people listening. Tone policing is used to try and defuse this rather than the person declaring this tone policing having to present things in a manner that is respectful, that is calm, that is, well, adult. They use tone policing to say, I'm entitled to be really pissed off and abuse you because of it. It is entitlement. It is a way to legitimize bad behavior, harmful behavior. Notice that the person who would declare tone policing has a tendency to be the type of person who engages in this bad behavior and expects you to excuse it because tone policing, because how dare you silence women, people of color, you know, colored people. Oh wait, that's right, that was a slur in the 60s, you can't say that. How dare you silence XYZ identity group that for some reason they bring into the conversation even though you don't care. How dare you silence me? By trying to police my tone, I'm allowed to be abusive, say really horrible things, say things in a snarly, angry way, say things in a way that makes everyone else around you uncomfortable because I'm a member of these groups and I don't want you to be able to silence me even if I'm hurting other people with my rhetoric. But, but, you, you are not allowed to speak in a way that is disrespectful, abusive, rude. You are not allowed to raise your voice. You are not allowed to behave the same way that the declarant of the tone policing behaves. Why? Because you aren't them, because they're using it as an illegitimate tactic to keep you from shutting them down for bad behavior. They are legitimizing bad behavior and they are using it to shut you up because you disagree. And this is the reason that it's a lie. It's a deception. It's a way to shut down legitimate conversation and to shut down respectfulness that is necessary to have an actual discussion in favor of one person being able to shout over the other person. Don't tone police me. I'm busy shouting. I'm busy being abusive. But if you're abusive, it's not okay. Why the double standard? Because without double standards, they wouldn't win an argument because they have no standards at all. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. JodyBruchon.com for links to support me. Have a wonderful day.